Oh, buddy, it is late. That's not going to stop me, though. Welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. There's a lot going on today, so... Didn't really have a good opportunity to hit the record button. But if I get sleepy during this... Yeah. I'm going to get sleepy during this. Probably. I know 8.45 isn't usually that late, but... Having to get up for a 6 a.m. shift means I have to be up by 5, which means I'm out by 9 p.m. So, yeah. If I start yawning a lot, I'm sorry. Good, e good evening, everyone. Right now in I'll Do It, it's 8.43 p.m. on Sunday, September 25th, 2022. KK is putting on a very special concert in the plaza today. Usually he only comes out here on Saturday, so you definitely won't want to miss it. That's all for now. I hope you all enjoy the loveliest of lovely days. Because we were having the bug off yesterday. Uh, KK wasn't able to appear in the plaza, so now he's showing up today. Also, I have Cheez-Its, so I'm going to be snacking on those. My dear Dimples, is there anything better than receiving a letter from someone out of the blue? I think not. It makes my heart pitter-patter with excitement. I hope this letter has done the same for you. Much love, Cashmere. Oh, that's sweet. Rank A. Gonna throw that away. You can also throw away these doctor's masks. I'm gonna keep KK Lullaby. Oh yeah, the random orange that uh, Raymond gave me. The HHA sent along a silver plaque. Well, that's nice. We've got a xylophoid and a clatteroid. I think that's our third clatteroid. Is that the the disc guy? I think so. Cause we got a yellow hyacinth there. Anything else? Not particularly. But hey, the sky is really open tonight. Maybe we'll actually get some shooting stars. We get to hear 8 p.m. I think we've heard 8 p.m. before. It's still nice to listen to. Should I go deposit some of these things now or later? I choose later. Crops are doing well, I see. Raymond, how you doing? Oh. He walked a little too high up. I thought he was in my talking path. What's the latest, Crisp? Haha, we meet again! Or did that first meeting happen in my dream this morning? <gasps> you were dreaming about me? That's nice of you. Do you want something? Uh, do I have anything? Not particularly. Another time, then. Hugh and Stinky are listening to KK play, and we will do the same very soon. Hi, Quinn. Sorry, I didn't mean to get you wet. Yo, 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 what a geek! Feeling psyched proper? Enjoying the evening proper? Me too. Nights get me hyped. Hi, Cashmere, I didn't even see you there. Ah, Dimples. What a pleasure it is to see you today, Bobby. That is my other name. Time moves a bit more leisurely here on the island. If I don't watch the clock, the day ends before I know it. Are you two gonna talk it out? No? Alright. Is our message in a bottle on the shore today? Not this one, anyway. Let's go say hi to Wade, and also say hi to Lyman. Which just leaves Twiggy and Melba unaccounted for. I see you've redecorated. Hey, what a geek. It's nice of you to visit, so it goes. I love drawing. I use all kinds of stuff. Colored pencils, crayons, finger paint, snack dust. I like colored pencils because they smell neat. I wonder where they come from. I know colored pencils are made of trees, so I smelled a bunch of trees. A bunch of trees. But I never found a colored pencil tree. Well, keep looking. You'll find one eventually. 
I always fall asleep when I listen to music on my shell speaker. Even if I'm listening to KK Fusion or two days ago. I start listening to my tunes and munching away on my snacks, and pretty soon, I'm snoozing. That's why I don't know the words to any of KK songs, even though I listen to them all the time. Didn't you list two different, uh, songs last time? Okay, nothing's playing there. Is he still playing stale cupcakes here? I can't hear. Yeah, he is. We already gave him an anemone, and we already have one in our inventory. We still gotta donate those tea. Excuse me. Gotta donate the sea grapes. So... That's to consider. Lyman! In case you're wondering, the flavor of cheese its I'm chewing on is white cheddar. Yeah, welcome. Relax and make yourself at home, chips. <clears throat> strength training doesn't just mean doing any old exercise. Let me teach you how to do some Lyman-style training. There are lots of strength training programs, but the most important thing is consistency, chips. Visualize the body you want to have and go after it. Six-pack abs, bulging biceps. It all depends on visualization and follow-through. Good to know. I won't ever use that, though. Um... What if I gave you a clatteroid? Oh, never mind. He's sitting down. He's doing a read. What are you listening to? Oh. I guess that makes sense. I mean, I did give him that. KK Safari. Oh, yeah, that checks out. See you later, Lyman. There are two dig spots in this general vicinity. I've got eight spots open, which should be enough for all of these lilies. I needed to get rid of them eventually. That should be enough walking space. Now to move them around. I'll pick up the other fossil spot in a second. Another fossil spot. new blooms out here, doesn't it seems. We'll put a red there. We'll put a white here. I guess a yellow. Well, no, another red. Another red. A red. Yellow. And white. Put this hyacinth somewhere as well. How about up against the river or the the water? There we go. No new self propagations. plus objectives today. Water plants, which we did. We talked to villagers. We gotta take a snapshot, sell things, and pop a balloon. Doesn't sound too bad. Why don't we have a seat? go. 
Let's check the beach real quick. Nothing interesting. <gasps> Ladybug. <clears throat> Man, those are some clear skies. I don't know if we'll see Celeste tonight, because she has shown up pretty recently, and there is another nighttime visitor we haven't met yet. lilies. They grew in, I swear. There's the money spot. Very different to the money shot. And that figures. gotta get more bells before I can uh, go planting anymore. Oops. These trees are making sure that I can definitely do that. I'm gonna wait to pick up the other wood. Butterfly, how you doing? Do we even have iron on me? Nope. Oh, I picked up a six. Whoops. Should I go grab him? I suppose. As long as he doesn't fly over that pond. Things happen. Now oh, come on. Let's break my rod while we're at it. For a bass. Honestly, was expecting it. Get out of here. You're not gonna sell for anything. Hey, more black roses. And now for the punchline. No breaking of the the tool. There is a dig spot up here. How about that? Glad I came up here. Let's swap it with Kinda, ooh, that's an invasive species to the the uh, river living. Man-faced stink bug, which we have found before. There's a weed down there. Gonna need to remember to get that later. Let's 
put this red rose down uh, right yonder. I just saw something. At least I thought I did. I didn't hear it at all. Six we have. I got five. Mm. Just barely got it. There was a shooting star just then. There's another one. Actually, two of them. So yeah, if you face the sky whenever shooting stars come down and press the A button, then you'll be able to wish on them. And then the next day, your beaches will have some star fragments for you. I'll just keep running around for a little bit longer. This black rose. Should it be with the other flowers? I guess. Wouldn't mind it. Wouldn't mind it being over here. That didn't move the shovel from its uh, tool wheel position into the net position. That'd be weird. Nope, we're still good. Alright. Is this our first time hearing 9 p.m.? I think it is. That's all the fossils for today. And that does mean, unfortunately, that we missed the Able Sisters being open. I really should have stopped in before uh, they closed, but I forgot that they closed earlier than... Uh, than I expected. Plant that. We still got time to sell things at the Nooklings. Because they don't close until 10. Hey, bed. Boo. I will assess these fossils and then go to the roost and then sell the fossils if there are duplicates. Besides, I gotta donate the sea grapes anyway. Yep, all duplicates, finally. Sorry, I sped through all of that. I'll try to remember next time it, all, it happens to uh, let him talk about it, but I'm just so used to 
having him assess fossils just so I can give them to villagers. Sea grapes are a marine algae that look much like their landlocked namesake. That is, they are green pearl-like orbs that cluster tightly along underwater vines. And sea grapes, like regular grapes, are a popular snack food too, albeit of the saltier variety. Fans of the briny delicacy enjoy the way the shiny pearls pop when chewed. It makes one wonder whether sea grape juice might have some appeal. It would leave the drinker with sour grapes, I suppose. I wonder if there's a boba out there that is just sea grapes. Or grapes, even. Late night meteorite. I'm ready to get wired at uh, 9 p.m. Coffee is 200 bells a cup, Koo. What do you say? Sure. go. One fresh brewed piping hot cup of coffee. Enjoy. Hmm, it's just a bit bitter. And that's how I like it. Cool. Thank you very much. All right. Let's go selling. There was more? Man. very colorful. Let's check in on turnip prices. Oh, that's right. It's Sunday. I th for some reason thought it was Monday. My bad. Sell, 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 sell. Yeah, that'll do. 4,999 bells. What? Damn. Toy box. Lyman already has one of these, but in green. But I know who this could be good for. And she's on the other side of the island. Let's fill out our catalog. I don't plan on having a toilet cleaning set be of much use. Uh, but maybe that's what I'll make one of my rooms. Although, a lot of people do tend to make a toilet in their house. Rather, a bathroom. It's a very common build. Gyroid fragment. I'll take it. <laughs> These two boys are still chilling out, listening to KK. I think we will too. I know that face. You caught my act before, am I right? You in the mood for a song tonight? Let's hear it. Cool, cool. Any requests? I can dial up an old favorite, or you can just tell me how you feel and I'll groove on it. I'll leave it up to you. Dealer's choice, huh? Cool. I got a slick one for you. Take a seat and we'll jam. 
I'm gonna sit next to Stinky. Right on. I'm tuned up and ready to roll. Who's in the mood for a little KK Lament? I like that Stinky showed up to this concert in a raincoat, as if it's just casual wear. I believe that all the KK songs you can get in this game, plus a few extras obviously, have been available in other Animal Crossing games. And when I say plus a few others, I'm also mean the ones that have appeared in previous Animal Crossing games are still here. Like, all of them are still here. Don't quote me on that. But I think that's the case. And then they also added a few new ones for this game. Because it was occurring to me that Tota KK had made a lot of songs for KK Slider. And I didn't... I was thinking about it. It's possible that he didn't do it all in one game. It's po possible that it was spread out over the entire uh, series history. Because, like, Bubblegum KK, a classic song. Everybody loves that one. Right on, man. Why don't you give your pockets a glance? I slipped you a boot at the show. That was, like, unreal. Thanks for tuning your dial in my direction. So, as he said, he somehow managed to sneak in KK Lament. So now we have that to register to our uh, jukeboxes. KK Lament and KK Lullaby. You can only get so much from uh, a live performance, but there are definitely different instruments here. A lot slower. Actually, I forgot to turn that off. There we go. Thanks, Cashmere. Did I not water them yet? I thought I did. Oh, yeah, I totally did. The other one's uh, sparkling now. Well, I appreciate it anyway. What you doing? Just vibing. I feel it. Do I hear a balloon? Yep, sure do. All it said was that I had to drop a balloon, not uh, not receive the present inside. One of those two is crafting. Hi, Captain. We'll be back for you in a second. There's our message.
I've grown weary of run-of-the-mill furniture, so I've designed a DIY furniture recipe sure to inspire. I cannot keep this idea to myself, so I've placed it in this bottle. May it inspire you to action. Bamboo candle holder. Is this like a tiny piece of bamboo with a tiny candle inside of it? Yeah. Doesn't look too bad. Oh, there's a weed. Uh, that's right. Let's go get the other one. But first, let me talk to Raymond. I like a new fence. Where'd you go? Oh. Nothing like relaxing on a log stool for a while to reflect. I will forget about that weed if I leave it alone for a little bit longer. There's another rainbow stag right there. Gotcha. And then my net breaks again. Oh yeah. Glad I came back this way. About who may be crafting today. Melba, if you're sick again, I swear to god. Okay, now she's the one crafting. Hello. It's nice of you to stop by, but I'm kind of preoccupied just now. I'm currently crafting a peach wall, just to see how I do at it. DIY is a great way to learn by doing. I'm totally obsessed with it. What, do you want to learn how to make your own peach wall? I mean, yeah, but I don't have the peaches. I can't slather a bunch of peaches on paper. To, uh, to make a wallpaper. I would like to. With as little effort as possible. So then, Twiggy, what are you up to? Is Static over for a visit or something? We haven't seen him today. Nope, he's not here. Thanks for stopping by, what a geek. Going has more fun when your hair is fashionably glam. Do you think your current hairstyle is tray fab or la drab, what a geek? Uh, totally fab. You are totally fab. I'm so glad you think so, too. You know, I need to keep up with your style. Maybe I'll try a new hairdo. You, you've got hair? Uh, I wanted to give her the toy box. This is for you. Toy box? Are you like for sure sure that I can have this? I've had my eye on this for a while. It's a fast food uniform, I hear you love those. Didn't you say that the last time you gave me a fast food uniform and then I immediately sold it? Well, I probably didn't immediately sell it, but that is my go-to move, so. It's a pretty fair assessment to assume that I did. What's up, Captain? You ready to listen to me song? I mean, it gives me time to eat Cheez-Its. So let me wire you real quick. Thank you. 
He used to be lean and mean. like a pretty basic glowing moss and vine island, which is fine. Or vine, I mean. The pun is right there, I might as well say it. Looking out for the DIY recipe first. There it is. While rereading my diary the other day, I came across this recipe. I'd never cease to amaze myself. Sure, I could have kept it to myself, but self praise can only go so far. Now bring my genius to life. You're welcome, Ken. Glowing Moss Jar. Ooh. What's that? What's that? What's that? Uh, ba ba da ba ba ba. Scooby da ba. Ah! Very cool. Very cool. I like it. I like it. And further, I enjoy it. I've already got clay on me, don't I? Yeah. Big leap. Nicely done. have enough too much or you can never have enough glowing moss there we go Sixty-nine thousand. that's pretty nice not so nice They've done it for me. My backboard, as it were. Oh, come on. Might not get the eighth bong. Nope. Let us get me vines. Don't believe you can wish on stars on basic island tour layouts. There are some island tours where uh, stars can fall, um, and in which case, well, the gimmick of them is that stars do fall at all. Less that they can, more that they always will. Um, and whenever you wish on the stars there, then you can get them to show up, the, the star fragments that you've wished on. To show up on your beach anyway, so you don't need to worry about them, the rewards for wishing on stars, to show up on some other island you're never coming back to. I don't know if you can still wish on stars on non-star wishing related islands. I think you can. It's just been a while, so I can't say for certain. Sunlight, moonlight, sea. Is in the letter, not the thing we are writing across. Thank you, sir.
Figure if there are gonna be more shooting stars before we check out and go to Paradise Planning, then I should probably put that away. Working hard around the clock, I see. Custom fencing in a flash. So now, we can customize our fencing. Well, some of it. So that's nice. If we want to change the wooden fencing, for example, into a different color, then we can change it to green, blue, uh, blue, green, and blue, and green, blue. So, yeah. Those are all the same stuff. Straw fence is new. Sooner or later, I will be unlocking all the other permits, including uh, cliff and waterscaping. But I don't feel the need to mess with those at all, because I like the natural design of the island. Do I have Zen fencing? I think I do, yeah. So, I don't actually know if I'm going to be getting the uh, waterscaping and cliff construction anytime soon. So I'm sorry to those who are really anxious to see what those are about. I just don't know if I want to change anything yet. Santa again. Green Sporty Shades. That has Lyman written all over it. Whistling KK Dixie. Alright, more rain boots. I wonder if Nook looks at my spending and wonders, why all the rain boots and doctor's masks? What's that all about? Oh, finally! Thank you for using Nook Shopping. You have placed 100 orders through this service. To mark this occasion, we're giving you the Nook Shopping app so you can shop anytime, anywhere. Please place your Nook phone near the terminal to begin app installation. And now, finally, we don't need to come visit the ABD machine every single day. I probably still will, just for the uh, free miles each time. But then again, I don't have to anymore. So now, the app, it's literally the exact same thing. You can just purchase specialty goods, uh, purchase things from your catalog if you really want to. And yeah, you don't need to go to the ABD machine. It's pretty handy. Uh, didn't mean to go there. Didn't mean to go there either. I think I was looking at the ABD itself. Let's deposit some more stuff. How about 50 tau? Good enough for me. How's about we go bury these gyroid fragments? What's up, folks? Really should have uh, buried the gyroid fragment first and then went to that. Let's go deposit some things. Sooner or later, I will be designing the left room. Probably likely just gonna be later. So, there's that. What's the xylophoid? An artiste. That's what he is.
I do like the garden lantern, I just don't know where I'd put it. I guess I'll put it in storage. I want to give this to Kashmir. The jam session continues. We got some more Nook Miles. Shop to it. Disconnected, that ain't true at all. Oh, there were even more things to claim. Whoops. Ooh, park fence. And large lattice fence, just for getting that uh, customization thing. That's neat. Bell ringer. I've spent 505,000 already. Man, where did all that money go? Nook, you holding out on me? Didn't mean to ready my net. I wanted to talk to Quinn. Uh, didn't I just see you over there, Proper? You don't have a twin, do you? Hey, anyone ever tell you how awesome you look with that net? So what bugs are you after today? Whatever it is, I hope you catch it, Proper. You seen any scorpions around here? Asking for a friend. It's me. I'm the friend. Cashmere, where are you at right now? I couldn't tell if that was a shark shadow or not. I think it was. Anyone seen a sheep around here? We still have to find static, too. Well, not have to. It would be nice to. Unless he's not awake. Oh, there's Cashmere. Oh, I didn't even see that there. Well, GG. A jump scare for the ages. Even Cashmere jumped out of her seat. You like that? It's not that this isn't fun, but... Nah, whatever. I'm also holding that hope that another star will... I thought I just heard a twinkle, but nothing fell. Nah, well. Okay, Static's not here, which does mean he is indoors. In the museum. Unless he's going diving. More power to him if that's the case. If only there was a locate feature. I think other Animal Crossing games had the ability to request the villager in question to show up somewhere. That fish looks almost as scary as I do. So you're the reason we got this fine specimen, eh? That's downright benevolent of you. That's a big word for you. Are you like 13? Bomber style jacket, what does this look like? It's blue. Eh, he might look good in it. Depends on if he accepts gifts right now. Yeah, that's the Dunkley Osteus. This is a pretty full exhibit. We're only missing the one thing in this hallway. They say no sitting, 
but who's they? Me. I'm they. Wait, wait, static. We need see when you're time. Okay. A lot of the fossils in this room are ocean animals, so I guess you could say it's like an aquarium. A boring aquarium, but still. I mean, he's got a point. Okay, my quota is fulfilled. I guess we'll head over to Paradise Planning. Now, the next question is, should I invite someone else? Quinn's walking around. We could invite her. Although, I think I've already done her... Uh, her vacation home on LB before, so I'm not sure if I want to do her again. Yo, what a geek feeling strong, guy? Muscle madness! Whew! I heard shouting is a great way to work the abs. I also heard my neighbors were complaining. It's real dark out. What you doing? I might copy you. I could be what a geek junior for the day. If you say so. How about, uh, how about Melba? She could use a break from crafting. Melba! What you doing? Besides the obvious. Nice to see you again, Toasty. Do you want this? Souvenir chocolates. Oh my, what's this? You got me souvenir chocolates? This makes me so happy! I heard these were only sold locally. Did you visit the islands? Wait, you work with homes on the islands? That sounds amazing. I'd love to visit myself someday, Toasty. I'll take you. You mean it? Just the thought makes me want to jump with joy. And here we go. Iris out. And to the airport. Thanks, Orville. Finished reading your book. Sometimes you just gotta wonder, what would dodos do? Wow, it's so different here. Thank you so much for bringing me here. I think I'll take some time to look around, Toasty. Ah, you brought a friend along from I'll Do It. I hope they enjoy the island. What a geek. Don't mind me. I'm having a great time by myself, Toasty. If you say so. <gasps> Puddles! Aw, oh, man. I haven't gotten to know Puddles very well, but she's cute. She's a little frog. This island is the perfect place for a soon-to-be famous pop star like me to come for vacay. Do you think all the folks who have vacay homes here are celebrities? Apple. This place would legit make the best co album cover. Bright, sandy beaches, my stunning beauty. Maybe I'll shoot some pics while I'm here to inspi inspire me to start doing some songwriting. A hamster. Pico again. Blair. Oh, now I'm thinking about getting a vacation home nutlet. <laughs> nutlet. Yeah, I should, should probably just talk to them because there's not going to be a, a uh, message in a bottle. No way, no how. Ooh, disco ball. Good evening, what a geek. Ooh. Only 2,800? I'm taking that. That's a steal. A vintage TV. Would anyone on my island even want that? I don't think so. First aid, disco, eh. Or mirror ball. What's up? You looking for some work, what a geek? I'm ready to work. Okay, let's get you working. Ta-da. Good luck out there. All right, no prompts, no nothing. Let's just get into it. So Melba could do with a vacation home for sure. But I haven't done puddles yet either. Lovely stuff. Oh, so it's just gonna be a bunch of pink stuff. What about Melba? A fairy tale, ooh. So this is where you spend time working, what a geek. I wouldn't mind building my own vacation home around here. Could we discuss the details together? Ooh, you actually have time now? 
Then what are we waiting for? Let's go, Toasty. Leave it to me. Thanks for your time, Toasty. I think I'd like for my vacation home to feel something like this. Fairy tale or ooh, 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 mushrooms. Ooh, that's very nice. I really like your concept. All right, now the next step is for you to choose an island for the client, what a geek. So it's gonna be mushrooms, why not go to a fall island? Or fall environs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seems like a lovely spot. I can't wait to see it in person, person, Toasty. Now, Melba. We found an excellent location for you, but you'll need to see it for yourself before, before we begin. What do you Please lead Melba to the site, and best of luck. I can never decide on a consistent voice for Lottie. Whoop! So this is where I'll be vacationing, huh? It's like a dream come true. I can't wait to see the finished home. So it looks like we have some furniture out in the yard. You can open that box by pressing A, the same as you would indoors. And don't forget that you can use decorating mode by pressing down when you're in the yard too. Okay, go be someone's island hero. Well, I'll leave it. I'll leave you to it. I appreciate it, and I appreciate you too. Aw. Archway. And a bunch of dragonflies flying around, but we can't. Uh, we can't capture them. Which is not a bad thing. Um, let's see. Do I want it to be dark for the time of day? No, maybe not. Just past one. Maybe slightly in the morning. What about fog? Yeah, fog! How dense is it compared to that? Hmm. I think I like that. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, we can also move the ramp a little bit, I think, or change something about it. Yeah. We can change what type of ramp it is. I like the idea of a log staircase, but natural ramp looks good too. Doesn't look like we can change the fencing here, but we can press plus to make our own fencing if we really want to. Let's just pick from any of the fences in the game, including hedges, which I'm really looking forward to actually having. But I think we're fine with fences, so... Forget about it. We can also make pathways. But no big deal. That is definitely going to be in the way if I do it like that. So we'll not do that. I don't like this arch much at all. But I guess it's not my house to make. It's technically hers. Let's change up the color. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, it is raining. Uh. Still raining. I didn't notice that it was raining. It absolutely is not raining here. Correct? Like, it's not gonna try to rain? Let's see here. We only have this style of house to go up to right now. Because that's how far our own house is along. Pink and white seem to be good to, good to use. Mushroom wreath, let's do that. Okay, let's uh, start putting things down. For plants, do we have access to... We don't. What about in here? Nope. So, there are mushrooms 
you can find during the late fall months. But I don't think, or at least it's not looking like, you can put them down here, just out in the wild. So that's out of the question. It would be nice, though. What would be... Glowing Moss, obviously. What would set the scene for a fairy tale forest? I love Glowing Moss stuff. It's some of my favorite uh, things to design with. Check the order. What do we got? A lot of fake trees and grass stuff. Some actual topiaries. Mush parasol. Which is going to be tough to walk past. So maybe I'll just leave that over here. You can change the color up to be white, ordinary, yellow, red mushroom. A strange mushroom. We do like Amanitas, I suppose. We got a mush lamp. I do love decorating with these, too, because they look beautiful. It reminds me of the um, ant colony, like the inside of the ant colony in uh, Bugs Life. Especially when you take multiple lamps and change their colors around. And in fact, on my other island, I do have that exact idea going where the there's a forest full of these mushroom lamps, and they're all of different colors. Because I think it just looks neat. Neat, mysterious, and all that, and all that. I think I'm going to stray away from using the um, Amanita color. do be a fairy tale. We'll put a picnic basket out here. Sure, why not? What color do we want to make that? Yeah, white. White and pink. A bunny garden decoration. A banui. Eating a picnic. Nico, stop nodding along. What's that about? The white bunny makes the most sense. Because it's a fairy tale, and Alice in Wonderland is a pretty prominent fairy tale in pop culture. Mush table. Hmm. Maybe I should save some of the mush stuff for inside, huh? Would topiaries look good out here? What if I just keep it on this side? Because there are bushes on the right. That might, that might look good. And because it's fall, we'll make it a brown topiary. This looks like a good fairy tale forest so far to me. Should I put anything in the back here? <laughs> a rock. Hey, there we go. That actually... That's pretty... Pretty, yeah. We can change the color up, but I think yellow is totally fine.
All right, cool. Uh, let's get in inside and see what's up. I do want to see what the um, wallpaper and flooring have to offer. Let's pop these open, and we'll also change you up. Yeah, I love Alice in Wonderland. Uh, plaid print. She's already wearing a plaid print by default. Oh, no, there's Alice in Wonderland. All right. And then there were wallpapers. Mush wall. Or chocolate flooring in wallpaper. Hmm. Very pink. Quilted wall. If only there was mushroom flooring available to us. That'd be great. I guess she wanted the Amanitas. So we'll run with it. But I'm not sold on the flooring, unfortunately. I guess we'll do it like this. Is there at least rug? Yeah, there is rug. Mushroom. There isn't mushroom for error. Ha <laughs> ha! Anyway. We got drapes, we got more bunnies. Clock, a mama bear, tulip surprise box. What is this? Bubble machine. Ooh. But what if? Because he spits out bubbles. Right as you enter, just bubbles. Probably not. Do, 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 do. Any sort of... Yeah, that's kind of a table. Because we can put a candle on the nightstand, technically. Let's put some pretzels and cookies up on the table. Anything else we want to put up there? No, not particularly. We can customize the pair of wardrobe, I didn't realize. Le Lectier. La France and Le Lectier. What can we customize this to look like? Pink, blue, green, yellow, white, or black. That's very goth. With the Care Bear also changing colors. How would this look yellow? Yeah, I guess we'll keep it pink. I guess. Uh, Mama Bear. Watching over. Uh, I more like being there. Floral with a shirt. It's adorable. It's adorable. Uh, yellow stripes. There we go. Tea set. Maybe. What are the variations? Hmm, maybe not. 
definitely put up the dreamy wall rack. This is her dream corner, after all. Uh, a little higher. There we go. And drapery? Oh, it goes along the top. Okay. Ooh, idea. What if... They're all along the circumference of... Well, circumference. The, uh... Diameter of the carpet. Unfortunately, we can't get another one to fit over there. But oh well. There you go. This is just the sleep area. It works. <clears throat> Hanging decoration. It's like a mobile, but not. How dare you imply otherwise? Uh, looks good to me, I guess. We do gotta get some things in the foreground, though. How about we do a grass and hedge standee? Oh, she likes that. We can customize these to have different, uh, appearances. Some of them have flowers in bloom, others not so much. <gasps> if I move this down and then put the tree standy back there. Turn that to fall. We can do ch uh, cherry blossoms, but doesn't quite fit the aesthetic, I guess. Yeah, all the pink stuff goes in that corner. I guess I'll put the green tea down. Would any of this look better? Yeah, okay. I can see that one, actually. What else you got? Not a whole lot else. I like the exterior more than I like the interior, to be honest. So, with that in mind, we don't even need to take a, uh, a tour of uh, the indoor part, we can just tell her we're done and we'll have a thing of the outdoor uh, stuff. Unless I'm mistaken. Hey, what a geek, hold up a sec. Sorry, just need a moment for a quick supervisor to design a consult if you don't mind. You're getting really good at this interior design thing, but I've got a cool technique to show you that it can take it to the next level. Remember how Wardell made the office furniture sparkle by just polishing it? Well, he showed me how to do it. With this neat trick, you can make a room's furniture shine. Get ready for Operation Sparkle. Step one, get your bod and your polishing duds ready with L. Step two, face the furniture item and press A. Step three, oh wait, there is no step three. So that's it. If you spot any furniture they can do with, with an extra sparkle, try it out. Anything that I want to sparkle with. That sounds completely fascinating. I'd be interested to see how it works if you feel like demonstrating. So, tap L, you go into cleaning mode. And, you can make something sparkle. If you tap it again, then you can remove the shine. So if you really wanna make this wooden tree sparkle, perfect. But enough of that. I think we're good on making things sparkle. So how's the vacation homework coming along? Is it ready yet? It's ready. Oh, how lovely. Thank you so much. Welcome to 
your fairy tale world. It may not look like much on the inside, but trust me, the outside looks way better. For example, in the corner here you have what looks to be a tree, but is not in fact a tree. I'm happier with the outside than the inside, I'm sorry. Thank you so much, I'd never be able to make my room this nice if I did it myself, Toasty. Feel free to hang out and relax a bit if you have time, Woody Geek. Uh, I need to head back, I just took a photo. Alright then, be careful on your way back, Toasty. And there we have it. We also learned how to polish! That's pretty cool. Welcome back! How'd things go? I have to think you're pretty used to the work by now, right? It's payday again. Here's 6,000 pokey just for you. I want to thank you again for all the hard work you've been putting in. You're such a big help. That said, it's not good for anyone to work themselves too hard, so it's break time. Go enjoy a change of pace for as long as you like. I suggest taking a walk around the whole island. Maybe I'll go out for a stroll too. I could use the steps. Oh, speaking of exercise, there are vines on the cliffs nearby sturdy enough for anyone to climb on them. You can really work up a sweat doing that. Try climbing them with A, I bet you really enjoy it. Talk to you later, Wadi Geek. Just in case you weren't aware that you can climb vines. Hi, Wardell. He's just being. Well, hey, what you doing? Oh, Wadi Geek, you startled me. What's up? Well, I got lost in thought looking at this property. Have you noticed all the unused properties around here? Before I set up shop, someone else was working on developing the island. They built all of these, but for whatever reason, it didn't work out, and I guess they just left the properties like this. Lately, I've been thinking about how we could put these properties to use, maybe some new facilities. If we had even more to offer our clients, I'm sure our vacation home business would boom. I just know we could breathe a lot of life into these old properties. Maybe we start with this one. I think it was originally going to be a school of some kind. Why not pick up where they left off? All I have to do is get a little paperwork in order, and we can get to work. Okay, okay, pump the brakes, Lottie. Sorry, I just get so excited when I think about business development. We're going to need more clients to make these facilities viable, so let's keep growing that client base. For now, I'll head back to the office. Come see me when you're ready to get to work. It, it occurs to me that we actually haven't had another... Uh, an... A... Male... Uh... Villager home made for uh, for this place because it's all been girls. There's Eloise. There's uh, Twiggy. Hey there, what a geek! You off work right now? What do you need from me? How are things? I don't know if it happens to other folks, but resort life is changing me for the better. I think. I've thought about it here, and I've realized fame and success as a pop star isn't something I want. I need it. I need fame and success. I need to be adored. I need to be loved by millions of folks. I never admit that back home. I had to come here to learn and grow, both as a pop star and as a person. Hey, Eloise. What a geek, darling. What is it that I can do for you, toot? How are things? Since I've come to stay at this lovely oasis, my skin is in such amazing condition. Perhaps it's all because my stress has melted away, toot? Hey, Vivian. Well, if it isn't what a geek, just a moment. I simply can't thank you enough for your work here. You've been marvelous, what a geek. I don't suppose you'd accept a small token of my appreciation, would you, Piffle? We get the flooring she was using, or we were using for her. It's nothing much, but could you use some cork flooring? See you around, Piffle. Very cool. I don't suppose Melba's around here. We just talked to her, so probably not. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and claim some, uh, some of these glowing mosses. Don't really need a whole lot of vines, but we can do with everything else. I think with that, we're good to stop for the day. Let's make a quick detour over to Harv's Island before going home. Because we can connect there immediately. Snowmobile is standing by. What's your flight plan baking sheet? 
I like that little pot with the um, plumeria in it. Wish that was a, an item you could decorate with, but I don't think it is. Touchdown like watching movies in a glasses case. How you doing there, Harriet? Oh, welcome. Take your time here, sugar. Cool. Oh dear. It's him. Well, hello there. I'm pleased to announce the opening of a new co-op in our happy little community. Please welcome Red and his collection of fine art. Oh well, if it isn't my old friend Wadi Geek. We go way back. Now, to be completely honest, I don't like the idea of settling in one location. Sometimes a fellow doesn't want to be found, you know? But for Harvey, I'm thrilled to set up my shop here. Now, Harvey, as we discussed before, I've sourced some artwork that I think even you will appreciate. Eh, what do you say? Are you ready to come check it out? Oh, gee. I thought we were just chatting, you know? Old Harvey doesn't have the most bells right now, see? Oh, but you've gone all to all the trouble. Of course I'll come check it out, Red. And now you're free to come take a gander at old Red's wares anytime you like, Water Geek. Enjoy. See ya! Oh, Harry, you moved. Do you have anything new for us right now? I get so happy when you come by to visit, sugar. Nothing for us yet. Hey, uh, got a question bouncing around in that noggin? No, not really. Okie doke, I hope you can relax and enjoy your time here. Alright, Red. What's your deal? Well, if it isn't what a geek, how you been? As I'm sure you see, you can see, I deal in fine goods here, and nothing's finer than fine art, am I right? Of course, stock is always an issue when it comes to finery, so I gotta limit you to one piece of art per day. But tell you what, since we're family, practically cousins even, you're gonna get the cousin's discount. And that's not all. Let's say fine art's not your taste or budget, or you just feel like having fun. I'm offering you, my favorite cousin, the chance to win fabulous and rare prizes. I call it Red's Raffle. That's enough chit chat, let's get down to brass tacks. I got works by the great masters ready to ship. Give him a look and let me know if you have any questions. So this statue over here, uh, it's fake. The tell is that its mouth is curved up in a smile. Uh, the Olmec head, I believe is what this is, uh, needs to be kind of frowning in order for it to be a real one. And this one, I don't remember what makes this one real. I want a closer look. I'll buy this one in anyway. I want to say it's the gentleman with the red um, scarf, whatever that is, around him, but he's dressed primarily in black. I think it's his hat that's the, the tell. Unless this one is always real and I just don't remember that part. But I'll buy this one anyway. So when it comes to red's uh, stuff, Per week, he'll have... Uh, okay, sorry. This is, I think, the end of the week, which means tomorrow he'll actually have a whole new stock. But at the beginning of the week, he'll start with two items. If you buy one of those items, it will get swapped out for another one the next day. Um, but if you don't buy the other item or either item, then they will stay the same items throughout the week. He will not rotate his stock unless you buy from him at all. Um... So you only get two choices per day, and one of the choices is whichever one you didn't pick up the previous day. Which means if you want new stock from him, you have to keep buying from him. Uh, which sucks, but it's still better than nothing, because sometimes he, he can go weeks without visiting your island. So it's nice to be able to come by and actually try to get more out of him. And for the raffle tickets... It's only 500 bells a ticket, and each ticket nets a prize. Yep, every single ticket is a winner. What do you say? Excellent. Wonderful. Now, if you please reach your hand into the box and pull yourself a ticket. Ow! What bit me? Well, it be. What do you win? Let's find out. Number 28. That's fate. No library is complete without a pocketbook. Happy reading. Cool. We has a pocketbook now. Way to pull that ticket. How'd you like to pull another for 500 bells? Nah, this sounds like a scam. Too exciting, huh? I understand. Well, thanks for playing, and come back again soon. Pocketbook. In case you just want something to read. Or turn the pages of. It's handy. Because you can hold it in your hand. Well, cool. Uh, we got some art. We got... Uh, 
The Squawker's got a transmission for you. Yes, you Woody Geek. Dota Airlines is now dabbling in item delivery and liquidation here in Harvest Island exclusively. Copy. So you can flap all you want, but an overburdened bird will never get off the ground. You grokking one of them squawking? Sometimes you gotta do more than flex your wings. You gotta ditch some cargo to fly free. Copy? Copy. So, feel free to offload some of your goods with us. We can send them to your home base and buy them outright. Let me just make sure I got my beak on straight so I can plot out the flight plan for you. First, let's talk delivery. We'll ship you your goods, safe and sound, straight to your home storage. And we won't bombard you with pesky handling fees, so fly high and book as often as you want. As for liquidation, well, let me just confirm that Dodos are collectors. Maybe your intel on that was lacking. But it's true, and this service is for those who want to unload some of their excess baggage for extra bells. With Nooks for Cranny, our partners on the ground will buy your packages for what you get via the Dropbox. Funds will fly straight to your bank and Nook account tomorrow, so keep that info on your radar. That's all the Dodo info on these new services for now. Dodo Airlines over and out. Cool. Uh, bring me home. Now, I don't know if he gives you that spiel, spiel, uh, because we just established red here, or if it's because it just hit 10 p.m. and Nook's Cranny is now closed. I imagine it's the former. Or at least closer to the former than the latter. All right, we're back home. I don't suppose any more shooting stars will want to fall at 10 p.m. I know one thing that's about to fall. Me, asleep. So, anything I want to offload to somebody else? Evergreen ash, actually. Where would I put that? Where would be good? Maybe front and center? I think we'll play around with that some other time. I'm a little sleepy, so, uh... Not really gonna think about too much else here. Like, I'm actually sleepy. I'm not going into my house to pretend to sleep because I'm speaking as my character. It's that I, myself, am sleepy. But, hey! If we want to polish anything in our own home now... So we can. Polish everything. It's beautiful. Maybe not that. It's already a lot of sparkly things. What about the fish? Oh, the, that's the table. Shine that table. Shine it real good. Maybe a little too much shine. Alright. Oh, nope. Wrong. Incorrect. I was wondering if it would let me do that. That works. Alright. I'll lie down. Tomorrow is a new day. We'll see what happens and what lies in store. I assume more paradise planning, but maybe something will happen and we'll spend the whole day on the island. Who knows? But that's for next time. So until then, see ya!